2024. IronCAD 2024 offers new capabilities with configurations and Excel-based parameters. For example, if we go to our part, go to our parameter table, you can see that we now have three options for our parameters. One is an update Excel, which uses basically expressions to drive from an Excel file. This can be found in our help documentation. And you can see that when you are using expressions, you can use the expressions to refer to an Excel, a particular file, and what sheet and column or field that you're referring to. This is handy if you just want to drive from an existing Excel document on your machine and drive your model. Another capability is to use our Excel design, which is new in IronCAD 2024, where you can actually drive not only your parameters, but configurations. So we'll go ahead and run our Excel design, and this will launch Excel on your machine. You will need Excel to access this. What it allows you to do, to do at this stage is actually select parameters that you want to use in your driving file, which is your Excel document. So we can select our length value, our width value. We can select the blend radius, and we can also do whole position or anything else. We just basically select the parameters that you would like to use in your uh, configuration, capability, or configuration tables on Excel. So now that we have our default configuration values, we can set the values for different configurations. So we have one called config1. We'll just set that to six, and we can set this to four, and we'll set this to 0.4, for example. We can drive another one just by typing another row inside of here. In our case, we'll call it config2. We can put a value of eight, five, 0.5, and maybe we'll do another one, config3, and we'll make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it four, two, and 0.25. So we can set these values inside of here. Once we're done, come back to your parameter table and hit the Excel design again. It'll close the dialog and return you back to the parameter table. Click OK, and now you'll notice that in your file, configurations will be created. Notice that all three that we had here will be uh, created down in the bottom right configuration list. When you toggle through these, notice that it will actually drive that geometry based on those values that you inputted inside of that Excel document. So you can simply toggle between these and get parameter changes and configuration changes in your file. Those parameters that you use can have suppression-based parameters, they can have driving parameters, based on numeric values inside of there. So a very handy feature to drive new configurations and parameters at the same time that can be called out on drawing files.